Hello everyone. Welcome to the computer class. Today we are going to continue chapter 1B arithmetic operations. In the previous session you had done binary addition and binary multiplication. Today you will learn binary subtraction and its first method that is method of borrow. Students please open your book at page 37. method of borrow in any number system the concept of subtraction states that subtracting unit value from any number returns the previous number in the number line the rules of binary subtraction are 0 minus 0 is 0 0 minus 1 is 1 as borrow from the next digit 1 minus 0 is 1 1 minus 1 is 0 let's understand the concept of borrow each value in tens place is equal to tens values in ones place each value in hundreds place is equal to 10 values in tens place and so on If one is borrowed from tens place, then ten is added to ones place. If one is borrowed from hundreds place, then ten is added to tens place, and so on. Let's do with an example. Here I am going to subtract eighty-seven from two sixty-three. First, I'll perform this decimal subtraction. with the method of borrow students as you know you cannot subtract a larger number from a smaller number hence what is the technique here you will add 10 and from here you will subtract minus 1 now the number becomes 13 and this number at tens place becomes 5 now 13 minus 7 is 6 again 8 is bigger than 5 so we are going to add 10 and here we are going to subtract minus 1 now the number becomes this number becomes 10 plus 5 that is 15 So fifteen minus eight is seven, and here two minus one will become one, and one here there is no number. It means here is zero. So one minus zero is one. So the answer is two sixty three minus eighty seven is equals to one seventy six. This was the explanation of decimal subtraction using the method of borrow. Now let's do binary subtraction with the method of borrow. In binary numbers we are having only two digits 0 and 1. 1 is always greater than 0. Here 0 minus 1 is not possible so I have add 10. and here i will be deducting minus 1 now the number becomes 10 10 minus 1 means 0 minus 1 is 1 and here it has become 1 so 1 1 minus 0 is 1 so the answer is 11 let's do the fractional subtraction on binary numbers with the help of the rules 1 minus 0 is 1 0 minus 1 is 1 but as we have subtracted a larger number from the smaller number we will be borrowing a digit from the next number so when i will cut 0 it will become 1 and i will continue till i obtain 1 so 1 minus 0 1 1 minus 0 1 1 minus 1 0 and 0 minus 0 is 
So the answer is 001.111. Students, today you have learned binary subtraction with the method of borrow on decimal number system as well as the binary number system. Do practice examples from pages 37 till 41. We will continue the next arithmetic operation in our next session. Thank you.